Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a video series for you using the new mini journal template dies and the hot air balloon set. The first video I have is how I created the cover to the water watercolor journal. I used some Canson cold press watercolor paper for the entire journal. I did not film the cover because it was done before I had this idea. Each of the pages will be on a separate video. So let's jump in. First, I cut two pieces using the mini journal template die set from watercolor paper. Next, I cut out four pages or I cut four pages so that I would have some fold out pages for bigger paintings. You could use the die that comes with the set and that just won't give you the fold out, but it's, you would just have a smaller painting. I wanted some larger paintings, so I chose to do the fold out. I think I got this idea from Bonnie in one of her videos that she did. So once I was done cutting those out, I then needed to score each one. So I scored each one and all of the measurements are here listed here. So I scored one at 1.75 and one at three and a half. That gave me the, the fold as well as where the, the tab for where it connects to the journal itself. So you see, I did the same thing to all four pages and now we're ready to kind of score all of those lines down and make them nice and crisp so that the journal will sit flat or it will be easier to open and close and all of that. So right here, I'm just scoring one half and then I'll put it down. You'll notice that one side has rounded corners and one side doesn't. The side that doesn't have the rounded corners is the one that you want to glue together for the middle so that your each side has the rounded corners and then it fits together like this. Now, because these paintings were rather large, I wanted to make sure I really had the placement of each painting and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to mess it up halfway through, which has happened to me several times. So I just took a pencil and I'm just marking the top, the bottom and the middle. Right here, I'm gonna put a, a little M and on the back, I'm going to put a B. That just tells me where I am with all of these pieces because there are quite a few. I'm also going to mark the top of the spines. So if I want to put a sentiment on there, I know which way I want to put it. Okay. So now once we have that done, I'm going to mark the front cover. I'm going to mark the back cover. And then I'm going to do the middle. That's all the inside. So that middle one is actually going to have a painting on it as well as each one of those sides. Now I'm going to take each of the pages and I'm going to fit them in how they would go. And then I'm going to mark those. So this is page one. So I'm going to put a little one there. Ignore that. I didn't actually, I was putting that as page two, but then I decided that this was going to be page two. And then, so those are the two pages for the left side. And then page three and four, which will point towards the right side, are going to be right there. I'm also going to mark an X on the back of each of these so that I know which one is going to get glued to which one. Again, just a fail safe for at the end when I go to assemble all of these completed paintings. These are all the colors that I'm using. I might use a couple more like browns and our brown and our blues that we usually use. But in addition to those, I will also be using these to do kind of a wet and wet technique um, to do the cover here. So I'm just putting down some clean water using my round eight brush. That's an M MJ Lefebvre, MLJ Lefebvre brush that I have here. I love that brush. So it's good for these big washes that you want to just throw some color down and really kind of lose painting. So this was the red. I think this is 856. And then I'm going to pick up the next color, which is um, a reddish purple color, maybe a 636. And then I'm just dropping those so that they kind of blend together. I just want this to be really watery and really kind of flowing. These are all the colors that I'm using throughout the journal for all of the hot air balloon paintings. 
so that it kind of stays a little more consistent and cohesive by using the same colors. So now I'm dropping in some 606, which is more of a, a very purple purple. And then I'll drop in some really watered down blue. And then I'll just let it kind of do what it does and do what watercolor does and just mix and mingle and play nicely. And if I see any hard edges that I'm not, that are, that have dried, that I'm not really fond of, I'll put some water on my brush, maybe a little more paint and just move it around or scrub it so that it, the hard edge will go away. Like right here, I'm going to pick up a little more paint and then just kind of soften that edge. Add a couple more drops of paint and that's it. So that is all for the cover. The next video I have is we'll be doing page one of the hot air balloon watercolor journal. I hope you'll join me for that. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. Thanks so much and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.